<laughs> we're rolling now. Oh shit! Okay, so what up, man? I don't even know what episode we're on. This what is episode? episode nine, I believe. Uh, no fucking way! <laughs> In a year and a half, we're barely at nine. What a shame. So, drop my motherfucking needle. All right. Well, bye. Welcome to the Alice Podcast. You just mumble and beg, no need to change if you text. Cause I'm bringing old school back. Did you see the fucking Alec Baldwin and Jim Carrey, Biden and Trump? No, no, I did not. So funny, bro. It's hilarious. It was actually very it's actually crazy. hilarious. You know it's crazy, dude. You have some like complexions of Ben Stiller. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Do you get that a lot? No. No. It's probably the nose. No. Like, Eyebrows. You, like some things you say even. Bro. Is it in the way of my voice? <laughs> uh, not Ben Stiller. Then the guy who plays the like you the character you remind me of. Not Ben Stiller. White Goodman. Yep. Well, I was fat. Yo. And now you also kind of look. Like a short, smaller, just shittier version of um, who the who's the last samurai? What the fuck's his name? Tom Cruise. No, nah, motherfucker, the real last samurai. I don't fucking know. John Claude Van Damme and him had a beef for a long time. White Judy's like, I'm gonna hurt you now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, karate chop you in the throat, and I'm gonna break out. I'm gonna break. Steven you. Seagal. Yes. If you look like Steven you. Seagal and a First shitty off. version of Steven Seagal. Well, you know what's funny is that it's funny you say that because you said your thing about Tom about you me reminding uh, you yeah. of Tom Segura, yeah. and then Tom Segura did that video where he's dressed as Steven Seagal. No, have you not seen that video? Uh, it's his dance video. Shut the fuck. Yeah, because Bert. I seen Bert's. Yeah, so Tom did. Tom paid a lot of money. And did a vi- like a, a diss video to That's that. That's gonna be you and I in the future. And homie. we're gonna be blowing well, big so bugs, dude. Exactly. That. Tom was just like, it, dude, he's like, I spent like I could have bought a new car with as much I spent just to make that video. I love how he went for gold. I love that. Well, shit, bro. so I love what yeah, people put. It's fucking puts in hilarious. Out. You know, it's it's weird about me. I hate pranks. Like I hate people. I hate cheesy shit, right? Where it's like you I'm hate a, like I'm being scared. pranked on, but like a video prank was no. Or what do you bro, mean, bro? Like I don't like. Like I don't like dumb, I don't like um here, ah, um no I don't like pranks and I like I know everyone listening fucking totally knows what I mean I don't even have to explain it like uh, I don't we're gonna wait hold on hold on I want to just like it's funny because if people that have been and listening to this show listen to this that you say you don't like pranks and be like what were the first two fucking episodes about yeah. King of fucking King no, of so Pranks. I got an That's expl- like one of the I got, episode so I got titles. An, I got it. I got it. No, but here's my explanation. No, I totally get it. I'm self aware. I, I was building up to it. But what I'm saying is, I don't like pranks where it's like just cheesy shit. I like investment, bro. Yeah, I, if okay, I like that's the what's weird about it. I don't like pranks, but then all of a sudden I like gnarly pranks. Like I love when, like, dude, my investment, right? Something like we've never even said out loud, which I love it because. It, I brought it up once to Efren in person, um, and yes, I am referring to when I catfished him. Dude, we've talked. To, I'm pretty sure we talked about it before. <laughs> no, but never with. No, I never talked about it with him. Oh, you haven't talked yet. Never. Well, dude. so like he knows it was you, bro. But it's like one of those don't ask, don't tell policies between us. Oh, did he send you a picture of his dick? No, no, I swear to God, because that would definitely be but a part he, of the but he, fucking story. He was get. He was damn near close, probably super close, and I felt. Oh, and then during the time, you know, like my thing where I'm like, hey, what's up, guy? Dude, I said that on there. Like when I felt like things were heating up and it was getting weird, I was like, yo, my God, yo, he's a fucking fish. Hey, and he goes like this, bro. He goes, uh, what? Bro. <laughs> and continued, bro. Like his reptilian mind. What is that called? Your primitive? His, his primal. Yeah, his primal <laughs> manner fucking Ugh. overrode. His instincts overrode his it just, it, human it, thought it, complex. To fucking pick up the fact that it's me. <laughs> yeah. That's fucked Bro, up. I hunted, dog. I fucking followed what you if, guys' uh, accounts for a while. <laughs> I was I'd, turning myself on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what if you fell in love with that <laughs> <laughs> Bro, because that's an episode of Black Mirror. That's... Uh, have you seen that shit? Have, where they're, where they're uh, playing virtual reality, bro. And oh. the dude's character's a chick, 
but he doesn't know when it's his best friend. They hook up. <laughs> That's awesome. That reminds me of that movie, uh, confused. Ready Player One, because isn't Ready... Oh, that was so isn't, fucking dope. Isn't I want to read the Player book, One, bro. like, isn't, like, one of his friends in the game, isn't uh, he, no. like, a woman or a she? Oh, no, you think it's a he, but it's actually just a, a black woman. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, the little orc-looking yeah. character. No, not the black woman. You're referring to the black woman as an orc. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh. I'm referring to the, 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 the character that she portrays in the video game. I was like, simulation. Bro, you're stepping on some toes. Dang. And those toes are green and look like orcs. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Shrek toes. Yeah, so. Yasso. Yasso is a brand of. Gonna get a gasoline. So Yasso is a brand of yogurt. Dude, so. Yogurt ice cream. Crazy, bro. You bring that up. Crazy bring up yogurt because my dad shot bullet holes. <laughs> and I just wanted to fucking. Um, I showed you okay. already. Yeah? You so, showed me. Yeah, Goonie yep. was tripping. Goonie was tripping. Oh, fuck. So, backstory. Here's a backstory. I just fell off the turnip truck with Ernest Tub. <laughs> 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 so, um, yeah, so. My dad and I, my dad was living on this property, dude, and me and my dad were going through some shit. I don't think I'm, like, outing him. I think he's fucking don't. I honestly, he's off the grid. He don't exist no more, so I don't think he gives a fuck. Uh, yeah, as I follow him, and he posts a selfie on his Instagram. Oops. So, <laughs> yeah. so he, um, but yeah, no, he's pretty open with this shit, so I don't give a fuck. He... We are on his property. Out, he's living outside of this RV, dude. We're in my truck. We're not driving. We're just blaring music out of it. And uh, at one point, we pause the music. I'm like, he's telling me to rap. Well, dude, we like almost polish off this like whole bottle of fucking rum, bro. And it's like this fucking Pirate Bay. Oh, from- Pirate Bay. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't know. I, I made it up a name. It's some- Pirate Bay. I think Pirate uh, Bay's are real. You know, okay, so this rum, though, just happens to be, I'm just, I know, it, this rum happened to be from, uh, where's that place that everyone travels to? Uh, the, the lake, fucking, I ain't never been there. Havasu? Yeah, it's from Havasu. I've never been there either. Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, so, it was some local shit, yeah? So, he fucking, we almost polished it off, I'm blacked out at this point of this fucking video I'm about to show you, and I'm rapping, and uh, and I just don't know what he's doing because I'm so like fucking wasted and hammered, right? That uh, I bro, I just had no clue. It caught me off guard. Um, so here it is. Yeah, here's the audio. Yeah, yeah. Here's the audio. Say to the L A S, the best to dress to impress, motherfucker. So guess what? It's the Marcos, the Carly Dos. That's right. And that's my dad shooting my fucking nine millimeter. Fucking a chunch hair from my head. That's how we roll, bitch. And we'll kill you, motherfuckers, within an See? instant. Unfazed. Right. See, I didn't instant, know. Motherfucker, like an instant. See, I didn't know. It's my dad says in person. It seemed like I reacted to the noise. Like I got irritated by the loudness. Well, it, that's what I'm saying. It seems like that you weren't bugged by like the Holy fact that he was shooting a gun. But the it fact that it was just noise. really li- like, well, that was like right in your fucking heart too. That's the best to dress to yeah. impress. Yeah, because even in the video, yes, you don't see me flinch. It's you literally just see me grab my ear and go down. That's right. Yeah, literally, I just grab my ear. Have no clue you just shot a gun by my head. That's how we roll. Oh, bitch. oh, and oh, okay. oh. And almost the biggest factor, I fucking bought this truck four days before this. <laughs> Dickhead, bro. It was a Chevy S10. Oh, bro. By the way, it's at my grandma's house, that Chevy S10, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't know she got it out. Anyway, that's a whole oh, other story. Are you, you going to tell that story? Fuck no. Maybe I'm, another that's, an, that's another tell to tell some other time. That's a tell to tell on a different podcast. As the best to dress yep, to impress motherfucker. Guess what? Wasted off some pirate bear. It's or the Marcos, the, the Carly Dose. That's right. Okay. Wait for it. I'm going to let it play through a little bit more now because so you can hear my dad's manner. That's how we yep. roll, bitch. And we'll kill See? you motherfuckers within an instant. That's right, instant. Motherfucker like an instant. When you burn it, that's right, that's, that's real right quick. Here. Motherfucker, you could light the much and light on my dick. Wait. Oh, God damn it. Hey, bro, you got to stop that shit. Oh, <laughs> dude. See, so I'm like, yo, you got to stop that shit. Meaning like, that's too loud. <laughs> Bro, a quick 
like on my dick. Oh god damn it. Hey bro, you gotta stop that shit. <laughs> oh dude, yeah bro. So that was crazy. So okay, so now what happened after that, right? Is I wake up in the morning and me and my my dad's like, Oh hey, you can you get my shit out of your truck before you leave? I fucking go into my truck. I have no clue what had happened that night. Mm-hmm. And I, and then I see just these beams of light as I'm grabbing things, and I see fucking shells, and I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> and, yep, yeah, and there was, like, four or five fucking oh, rounds. Just, uh, have you... Uh, I'm thinking about putting just a sunroof there. Okay, Bam Margera. What? Remember Bam Margera, like, got a... He, <sighs> he was with uh, Billy Idol in an episode of Viva La Bam, and he fucking got a Fuck saw. Billy Idol. And he cut out... A, like a, a fucking square in his uh, Lambo's roof. No, I'm saying because, but because I, I'm saying because the bullet holes. Yeah, you're just gonna. I don't want a sunroof. So, but why? You, why would you make one then? Because there's already holes in the. Yeah, roof. Why, why not? So just, why not just cut out that section and fucking put a window? You dumb fuck. Do it then, dude. Do it. Go for it. So how often do you and um fucking Velen fucking Soila? do this goddamn podcast uh we haven't been doing it much lately bullshit you guys seem like you guys are together all the time because you look like you're slowly no. morphing into him that's because i'm growing my hair out <laughs> i'm sorry nick was born with a fucking ponytail you have a very, you have a very... nick's umbilical cord was his ponytail oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> he came out of his mom and his ponytail <laughs> was just hanging in there they like, you got to cut the umbilical cord. Like, Dude. Oh, my God. That's so f- fucking funny, bro. Dude. No, me and Nick are together a lot. We kick it a lot, but we don't always do podcasts. I wish we. I wish me and Nick kicked it more. I wish you and I kicked well, it more, Nick's bro. moving back to California. Cool. So that means we better kick it more. Motherfucker, I don't understand why the fuck we don't kick it every day. Uh well you live in so Scottsdale me, well, right now. Well me moving back here. Are we gonna? Are you gonna are you gonna move into your grandma's house? That's what it seems like you're gonna do for a while. Yeah, um, just because uh, my dad's moving to Alaska. He's in Alaska right now. He just got a job interview. Uh, with the base up there. No, he he's out, bro. He fucking left. I I didn't know that. Yeah, that's yeah. No, it was a shocker to me. He's like, well, hey, I did left. he just not sign or did he desert? No, he didn't desert. He definitely didn't know. He that. just ended his contract? No, he was just like, no, well, or, you could fucking quit, bro. Well, it's just frowned upon. Okay. Yeah, that's what they don't tell you. You could quit. I thought th- you... Th- yeah, okay, no, desert is when you do Okay. Dessert is like... Yeah, when you leave and don't... You fucking you don't even call. Tell anyone. You, you just like... call a motherfucker. You're just like... What's up? No more. You're just like, I thought I could just leave and you guys you would do, get the- You do... You know what's crazy? I was about to talk mad shit about Efren, but he actually doesn't have that trait. Cause I I don't know why I thought he did, but I was gonna say you you dessert you don't call back like Efren's punk ass ever does, but actually, Efren has I don't think ever not answered my phone call. Yeah, I don't answer your phone call a lot, half the time, almost ninety nine percent of the and, time, and a hundred percent of the time you're super aware of that you're not answering it. <sighs> yeah, no, I'm avoiding it. Yeah, you are a fucking dick, bro. Don't even admit that to me, you sack of shit. <laughs> okay, sorry. I don't answer. I'm busy. I'm grocery shopping. You're a fucking scum. Text me, motherfucker. Why, dog? Because I don't want to talk I'm on the goddamn phone. old school, phone. dude. Yeah. Hey, bro, I had a homie tell me that in Florida one time. It was actually, <laughs> he was like, hey, don't call me. <laughs> no, 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 he said, don't. No, the other way. He said what I said, but a douche way. He's like... Hey, homie, by the way, he, oh he was my like, God. don't text me, Bro, this call me, up so I'm many fucking school. memories, it's fucking Isaac, dude, he's an on, he's an ongoing character now among oh, my Ike. podcast, Ike, bro, the, the, the fucking plagiarist, the illest plagiarist, uh, act, a fucking <laughs> MC, <laughs> the Joker, the dude that, uh, that had his dogs attack someone, what, you were telling me he was Joker and someone called his, yes, and he, his girl was Harley Quinn, <laughs> I that think was that him. was, I think that was the last episode of, that we did, yeah, after this, I would like to listen to that last episode because I don't even remember. It was goofy. He, so, anyways, he fucking went, dude. He used to do this. I, I gotta say, when, I you, when I are you gonna get him on the podcast? It's gonna happen. You know, if you were to call him right now, we could get him on. Bro, you know it's crazy. That's a brilliant idea. But crazy enough, I think he said "fuck the games" finally. 
and fuck the lies I've been living, I'm joining the army. And he went to the army. Proud of him. Good for him. I think I love him. I think I could say like, oh, I love this dude. He, I, yeah, I he's do. a lovable. It, he's like a lovable guy. You like you love to hate, kind of. Oh no! Like I, I genuinely fucking care for him because I know he's insane. <laughs> like, um, and uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, I he's think, your Johnny Long. What do you mean? Uh, you don't know who Johnny Long is? Yeah, oh, Nick Long's yeah. brother. Yeah, but how does the who are you referencing? That's one person. We're talking about two. What are you talking about? We're talking Doug about Hall, uh, you're talking about Ike. Track. Yeah. Okay. So, so he was like, you said, you know, he's insane, but you know, you still care about him. Yeah. So anyway, and then I said, because so, I was about to tell he's a story. your Johnny Long. Yeah. And so, that's reference to my story. But continue um, your story. <laughs> so he, but what he would do was, so he worked in this fucking fast food joint up there, like Bojangles or some shit, or Piggly Wiggly or something. And he was like, that's some East Coast shit. He's like, what the fuck did he say? Oh, he would text me all the fucking time. One message all the time. And it would be like, yo, call me later. (laughs) Dude, no. Okay? That's all I got to fucking say to that. But I wouldn't tell him no. I just wouldn't answer him or I'd be like, I... And I would never call him. Then he would be like, yeah, homie, blah, blah, at work. It was crazy, this and that. I wouldn't call him. He's he's texting me this. He goes, yeah, but anyways, hey, call me at 8, bro. Call me at... No, you know what? Call me at 8.15. Whenever my minutes are free. Like, dog. And so... I would I messaged him one time. You know, I'm in the my voice is in a mixture of fucking Bow Wow and Ja Rule right now. Yeah, what are you in D D minor? So you told me to bring up E major. Yeah, because I just wanted to reference this one time. So back in the day, whenever I was in high school, we were at this party and I was fucking high as fuck on spice. Every and you know, we were drinking and stuff. And um we're sitting there and Efren's talking to this girl. <laughs> Efren's, oh, <laughs> how fucking rude of you. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do that. Can't do that. <laughs> fucking dickhead. <laughs> oh, for all those wondering what's going on, Andy is not listening to the story. Yeah. He just like pulled up his Instagram. Little did he know he's Bluetooth is connected to the oh, soundboard. Fuck. We can hear that. Bro, that's one of the funniest. Like, I just got caught with my hand in the cookie jar. <laughs> Okay, so we're at this party. We're at we're at our friend's uncle's house. We're at his, uh, and there's these girls there, and Efren's trying to impress one of these girls, and we're talking about like guitar, playing guitar. Yeah. And Efren's talking about chords, and he's just like, "Yeah, but the fucking uh, the E chord is like super fucking hard." And all of us sitting around are just like, "Yeah, you know what? Fuck the E chord." Just like none of us know what the fuck the E chord are, but we're just like, "Yeah, you know what? Fuck that E chord, dude. That shit is hard. That shit does suck." <laughs> just like that's all I want to say. It's silly, oh, silly, that's stupid, so funny, bro. Funny that you got caught, <laughs> you fucking dick. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, bro. Yeah, you, you, who you talking? To? You're fucking talking to Doogie Hauser over here, MD. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't, I don't even know who Doogie Hauser is. Uh, it was, I, it was a TV show in the back in the day about a kid doctor. Huh? A kid doctor. A doctor that was a kid. Isn't that a new show? It's like The Good Doctor or something? No, he, The Good Doctor, he's like on the spectrum. Oh, yeah. By the way, my guest uh, for today is Nathaniel, <laughs> bro. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm your co-host, secret co-host. Bro, you co-host. know who you are of all this shit? You're, um, you are, what's his name? I'm not Jamie. No, no, you're um of Def Jam Records. You're fucking... Um, Sluggo. No, fuck. Fucking um Atmosphere. No, dude, that is fucking <laughs> rhyme sayers. I'm talking about Def Jam. Oh. Rick Rubin, bro. Uh, you're you're the Rick Rubin of A five six. I don't know who Rick Rubin is. Fucking go. Go educate yourself, you fucking idiot. <laughs> go fucking get your own setup for a fucking podcast. Bro, you don't know who Rick Rubin is? <laughs> What the fuck is this? Welcome to the N. Lopez podcast. Fuck you, bro. You're not about to start your podcast in the middle of my fucking podcast, you bitch. All right. This episode. Oh, this episode shit. Is... I dropped my phone on my whiskey. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by oh, Day yeah. Drinking. It's the best time to start. It's not even morning. noon. 
Nuh-uh. <laughs> it's, well, right now it's 11.52. But by the, when we started Shut this, it was like around 11. Up. Well, I mean, when we started this, it was 20 minutes ago. So, Dude, that's crazy, man. Yeah, you're an alcoholic. No, I'm not. So Don't even I. say that. I'm actually fucking doing a lot better, asshole, if anything. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, dude, I haven't been, dude, I haven't been drinking as at much all, at all. What are you talking about? You drank last night, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, the first time in a, a long time. That's what I'm talking about. I'm drinking yeah. right now. I'm not saying I haven't drank completely. I'm saying, like... You're not drinking as much as you were. Bro, but not that's even an, uh, an oversimplification. I'm fucking, like... How was your weekend in, in Prescott? Bro, I had maybe three beers and... Were you uh, drunk? And four grams of mushrooms. And you said they didn't hit you? Not how you wanted to be hit? I couldn't imagine it... I couldn't imagine my buzz overriding four grams of mushrooms, so. Um, and I felt more drunk off of three beers. But you ate before it, too? Yeah, bro. But I'm, we're talking hours, dude. Hours afterwards? Yep. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Damn. Yeah, it was <clears> just, Probably just the person. That, that dude probably, like, like I said, that dude probably had him and was just like just trying to get rid of him. Looking a brick Ruben to educate your ass right now. Okay, because we have the rights for it. I think we could put anyone talking, right? No, I don't think we can. I know that on YouTube, we'll, if depending on who makes the copyright claim, they'll either tell you to take it take it down, or else it's gonna fuck up your account. Or you know, be like this episode can't make money. And if it's this episode can't make money, we're fine with that. But if it's like take this episode down. Then it's like, oh, great. Now I got to go back and edit this whole section out. Right. That's interesting. Yeah. Real bitch move. Why? Um, so this whole shift to Spotify, I don't understand the. What do you mean? The the whole Joe Rogan shifting to Spotify. I don't understand the relevance of that. Like, what do you mean the relevance of it? Like, what the fuck's the big deal? Well, right now there's people at Spotify that are protesting Joe Rogan because they don't. They agree don't with him. agree with his viewpoints. Did you hear him talk about that? Yeah, I've heard a lot of people talk about no, that. No, but did you hear him speak on it himself on that one podcast? What with, episode um, was it with? I think it was with the um I think it was with the grandfather of podcasts. Um I don't know if I I think I might have He goes, They're trying to Yeah, he, he's like the people he's that like, are they mad haven't, at, he's like, like they haven't said anything he, to me no, so far. Yeah, no, of course, but he's saying that. He's like they He's like, you can't control someone talking. He's like, if they want to look into that, look into all the music you have and what they talk about and put everyone on the same spectrum, you know? And yeah. he's like, but you know, it's crazy. He's like, the, but he's like, it's, it's misconstrued. You know, it's crazy. Like, I'm like, obviously not quoting him. Like, yeah, I'm fucking, but he, yeah, he, but basically what he was saying was, um, they, uh, he goes, they haven't said anything to me. And the other thing is, I'm fucking. Oh, uh, so they haven't said anything to me, blah, blah blah. And the fact that like he's like these are a lot of left wing people. He's like that's what's tripping me out though because I'm left wing. Yeah, it's right? just like it's his image though. It's very fascinating how people kind of hang on that image because he is a muscular guy, tatted out, all Bald about head. hunting, bald, bald. Uh, all white, about white male, even though he's Italian. Does he strike you as a white guy to you? Well, he, his from? skin is pale. No, well, no, it's not. Kind of. He's Italian, dog. Yeah, Italian his among other not things. Pale. I don't know. I've never met the fucking guy. But you've seen pictures of him to even base it off of a fucking picture. He's nice. Yeah, like, but you know what? But well, I mean, just your preference. Like straight up, if you saw him walking, and you didn't know who he was. You'd be like, oh, that's a white but, guy. But dude, even people call it, like. Like, because there's the lighter skin Italian. Okay. Well, so check this, this out. This is actually if, fucking it, perfect because I got a question for you. If you, uh, What's your question? Is you're talking about these, you know, how it goes back and forth about the white guy looking whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. Bro, what about Cypress Hill? So I was like, I asked my dad, I was like, is Cypress Hill black? He says the N-word and everything. I was like, but he doesn't look black. Is he light skin? I don't know how dark he He's looks. Mexican. So he's not even Mexican, dude. What? Yeah, so I looked that up because I was like, oh, he's probably Mexican. But that's a whole other thing, though. Is It's funny how the Mexican could slide. Like, what, La Raza could be like, yeah, they could be all 
I'm not into that whole idea. No, I know, but they do. You know what I mean? But you know what else is funny? And something I want to educate myself on more is the the uh, the Chino Chicano. uh, Well, the like the Asians. Okay, I'm talking about the Asians. Yeah, the Chino uh, culture. uh, I don't really taking no taking a lot of culture, (laughs) taking a no because I'm talking about the like Cholo. Culture, okay. Chino culture, so Chino, so the the, the Mex, like the Mexican very, Chinese but, culture, yeah. So, but yeah, but what it is Mexican a lot of Asian, it's a lot of Asian people, yeah. But they're just Asian; they're not Mexican. But the Asian culture, oh, I've is, seen that. Is very inspired from There's people in in like uh, like I think in Japan or somewhere, yeah, somewhere. In well, Asia. you can go to cities like San Francisco, yeah. dude. You'll see a bunch of Asian dudes, but they look like they're like they're repping oh, Mexican well, cause, shit because they're in, well, then Oakland because they get inspired by like you know that kind of culture. Yeah, but that's just interesting though. Yeah, it, it is. It's because like my to barber, see it, like, or I mean, not my barber, my tattoo artist. Uh, that had it, rest in peace, fucking peasy. That dude fucking got shot up. I was about to go get a tattoo that day with Alicia, and uh, he, him, he, his shop got shot up around the time we'd be there. And oh. crazy, yeah, it was on the news the next day, and I saw. I was like, Why what didn't the you fuck? go? She just straight up look, like had to change a heart. She's like, Ah, oh, no, I don't feel like doing it. And I was like, God, oh, come on. And she's like, Nah. I was like, fuck it, let's go downtown then. Dang. So do you think you would have got, like, do you think you would have been there? No, we would have. The time it was, like, and everything, it was exactly when it happened. What if someone thought you were going to be there? Your, what if it was Cookie, your rival rapper feud? He, he's That's like, so funny. hey, did he ever release that song with her? Yeah. I never heard it. I don't want to. I do. I want to hear how much. I love Finding terrible rappers on the eight five six. Not terrible though. Well, it's not terrible. That's not even the fucking factor. Cookie's really good. Oh, okay. He's around the wrong people. I think better people could represent him, like myself. Why don't you hit him up? Maybe take him under your wing. Well, because I don't. I want to see more effort come from it. I want to see more hard work come from it. Because I feel like it was more of a, like I'm gonna come in with a fucking hot sixteen and dip. You know what, dude? Fucking, um, I remember. So there were these some dudes in San Manuel, and yeah. they 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 made a podcast, and it was just like, and it was it was in the time when I was thinking about, um, like I was in the process of like waiting to buy my stuff to start the podcast. Oh, really? And they started this podcast, and it who was, was it? I don't I don't know exactly younger who it was. or older younger, and they oh. did, and they had um. They were doing like cigar. They were doing like a, they were sitting down doing cigar stuff, and I was just what like, "What the fuck is that?" Just like smoking cigars and talking. Oh, and hey, bust out that wax, bro. Bust out that other shit. Do you have you any want, more of that other shit? You, what other you shit? Gave us? The, the shit that the, we just smoked. You want to take a dab? Yeah, oh, the same shit though. Do you have any more? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I'll fucking no. Keep loading up. I'm gonna keep talking. Okay. I'm um. So yeah. Off. Uh. So no, but. It's very fascinating, like thinking about it with, with the cultures and everything. I always thought, with like, um, especially uh, like I said, how I want to educate myself more on like because it's immigrants, bro. It's the it's that whole thing, like you know what I mean, the immigrant mentality, the immigrant, whatever the fuck. Uh, these people and a lot of them are Asian. I forget what the fuck were the goddamn islands that they had to go. Do you know what the islands were called? Where they had to go uh, through due process and everything, and the Ellis Island. Ellis Island. That, that was in New York. And there yeah, okay. Was, there's one by in, San Francisco. Yeah, I don't know what that one's called. Ellis Island and fuck Ellis. Island. But yeah, so I forget which ones in the in the West uh, Coast, but yeah, so they all go through there, and then Mexicans come through Mexico, right? With this Hispanic Chicano, uh, fucking they they. In other words, they bring la raza to everywhere they go, foot stomping it in every city. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, shout out to Foos Gone Wild. Why ain't they certified yet? Let's get them certified. Let's also get eight five six three one certified. That'd be fantastic. Represent the little guy. Very interesting thing, dude. Is I haven't been podcasting in so long, and you know it's crazy. I don't want to be all for boasts about it, but check it out. A lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people, been asking me where the fuck I've been at these last few. Years. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> no, but a lot of 
there's actually quite a few people that show they actually really want to fucking hear this shit. And it's crazy. I've been saying this since the first episode when I talked about Hector Eden Dog shit, right? <laughs> is I fucking, this goes as far as you want to take it. Not me, you. This goes as far as you want to take it. And I'm just here to fucking do it. And, but as soon as you guys stop listening, I quit. So that's just like that's just financially responsible and just a good career move. So if you stop listening, I stop. Um, I wish I had a good fucking radio host voice. Like, hey, how's it going? I'm fucking I'm over here on dude. You know, actually, who I would love to meet just for the sake of my love for podcasts. No, no, no. Is uh fucking what's his name? Corky and the fucking no fucking and the meat chop the pork chop Corky and the pork chop pork chop in the morning bro it's in Tucson it's a radio host my mom's been listening to them since I was a fucking kid and she would take me to kindergarten it's like pork chop in the morning Kim FM 99.5 bro Ken FM 99.5, Corky and the Pork Chop. Bro, there was a dude, you know who I love is fucking, um, he's like, what is like, I, I fucking, the only ones on that Tech 9 song, bro. He's like, I don't feel like doing a damn thing today. I just want to play. Uh, and he's like, he's like, uh, dude, with Bubba the Love Sponge, comfortable. That's the song, bro. Fucking comfortable by Tech Nine. Um, I could play like less than fifteen seconds of it though, right? I guess. Yeah, I'll check this shit out. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> what? Dude. Watch this shit, dude. Play your song. me now. You take me to a bus fun, and you think cause I'm bitches, I need a buzz done. Check it, I ain't trying to do no early interviews unless it's Sway, Johnny Dare, or Bubba the Love Sponge, comfortable. Damn, bro. Or Bubba the Love Sponge, comfortable. I I'm gonna take a little dab for the homies, right quick. Everyone, pray with me, right quick. Let's have some. Let's fucking uh, let's let's have a moment of silence for George Floyd. Here we go. Rest in peace. Uh. <coughs> Holy shit! So it feels good to be back in the podcastville. Oh shit! That's strong and far. Uh, yeah, man, I missed you guys. So this is like my one connection to a lot of people. I'm just kidding. Um, I fucking talk to everyone quite a bit, as much as they want to talk to me. I love all my homies out on the 116. Uh, fucking, it's my fucking, uh, when I went to boot camp, it's my flight, flight 116. Hey, right. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't even fucking remember, bro. <clears throat> yep, I am an American airman. <laughs> I've answered my nation's call. Um, <clears throat> so are you back in? Are you back in the sack? Yep, Go back in here. How how do you rate those dads, bro? How do I rate them? Those ones are good. Pretty bomb, or what? Where do you get those from? Uh, well, they're from Bloom Dispensary. Yeah. You know what's crazy? There's a oh, guy, Strickland there's guy that sends me beats, and his name is Bloom, DJ Bloom. There's a guy that sends you beats? Yeah. Are they good? I never check them. Why don't you check them? Oh, because I was just like this pretentious asshole. No, he's probably giving you free fucking beats, dude. Oh, they are. Yeah, they might be fucking good. Let's see, ready? Look at check it out. Might have a song you don't have to pay for. Watch, ready? Watch, we'll find Bloom. Watch. Pretty sure his name is Bloom. <coughs> um, is it just scrolling? Scrolling through see the me scrolling. Hey. Did this show come out in? I think this show came out in 2019, dude. 
What show? This show. Oh, shit. So I don't think you've done any episodes this year. Oh. <laughs> What's up, guys? 2020 has <laughs> been a total fucking wreck. That's what I was saying, dude. My podcast, I was just like, but I was like, I shouldn't blame the year. Oh, yeah. His name's Bloom. Look at it. Lewin from Bloom. And he's just like, yo, found you on what? Apple Music? Just wanted to hit you up and let you know I just dropped a brand new beat. I wanted to send it your way. Fire. Fire in the booth. Wanna, you want to hear some fucking... Dude, I wish I could do... You know what? I'm jealous. I wish I could do some acoustic like you guys did with Guitarlos. Oh, yeah. Hopefully it was... I, I uh, wish you could pad up some fucking beat for me. Like a fucking... Uh, one chest 10. You know what we should do? Start is, a fire? No, we should... Uh, <sighs> we should... Have you make a beat on the spot, and I'll write you something to the pre-predicted beat you're going to make. And right. Fucking start. Now? No, I'm saying whenever. Eventually? Mm-hmm. Maybe. Maybe we could do something. I might be able to do freestyle right now after we do this episode. All right. Because I might be able to plug the um, soundboard in since I knew how to, since I figured out how to dual record. Let's fuck up. Let's fuck with a song. Why not? We got it to lose. Time. All right. Time is inevitable. <laughs> I am inevitable. I am darkness. I am Iron Man. I am the light. I'm the darkness. You know, I, I can't read, wait you know, to I read start so- a cartoon. I read something in uh, tech school about, or no, I didn't read it. A dude told me about it. Uh, I wish I knew. I wish I remembered his name because I'd give him a shout out. Jamie, bro, my homie Jamie, like. Shout out to my homie Jamie that fucking got out of standing at attention to go take a piss. Good job, Jamie. Yeah, bro. You almost died. Let's get a round of applause for Jamie. Let's get a round of applause for Jamie. Pissing out of... Yep. Stepped right out of his fucking attention spot, and he was one of the... Yep. Dude, the dude was up front, straight up, out of attention. We're all like, 116. Attention, bro. Attention. Fucking everyone's getting fucking den den. We're fucking freezing our dicks off outside because we're in trouble. <laughs> and fucking Jamie goes, I can't take it no more. Shut the fuck up. Can't take it Better no not more. fucking say nothing. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. They're going to come. They're going to see us. They walked away to go inside to check on the den den. We're outside and we're just like shivering. And Jamie's like, I gotta do this. dude, Jamie straight up breaks attention, bro. Walks to the side and pulls his fucking curd some wang out. Curd some. And fucking pisses. <laughs> Just fucking pisses. Bro. The fucking nerve of this guy. And then he gets back at attention, bro. We're like, you realize they watch us on cameras everywhere, dude. It's like, everywhere yeah, well, but like the restroom. Watch me fucking Did I tell you that I made uh, 50 bucks off of drawing two naked girls freehand? Sketch for dudes that were there. just lonely and wanted to jerk off. Yep, I made two hundred bucks when I got out of there for drawing tattoo uh, designs. Why aren't you still doing that? Oh, I have a bunch of people who consulted me, bro. But I was going through shit. Damn. Yeah, hey, bro, I got a bunch horse. of. De- yeah, get back on your fucking horse. Yep. Stop drinking and horsing. I've been smoking a lot now, really. Yeah, you just got to figure out how to smoke and be productive at the same time instead of just smoke and watch TV. You know, that's I've, I've been eat. eating so much, bro. Yeah, hey, dude. dog, you're thicking it up, homie. I'm aware. Since I last seen you even. No, I know. When, when I got in that car with you, I was like, whoa. Fucking fat shit. Well, no, I was just like, there's less room in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a smaller car. <laughs> but that's not an excuse. So I asked you, I was like, whose fucking car is this? <laughs> this ain't the same car. You're like, no, it's my dad's suburban. It's the way <laughs> I've always had. I was like, I thought we we're in a Prius. It's like, nah, this Yo, is my Tesla. You know what I'd love to have? Elon gave it to me. By the way, this is gonna be a pretty long podcast just because I, I gotta get back to the I gotta get back to the coaches since I fucking been gone since 2019, Shine. So Whole anyways. Year. So yeah, so this is gonna be what are we at right now? What how long are we in? About forty minutes in. Oh, we're good. We're we're gonna go for like probably fucking Two and a half or something. I don't know. We're not going to gauge it. We're going to keep talking. Because I want to know a lot. Actually, dude, I want to break some fucking ground. Dog, we have not seen each other in a minute, dude. I know. Last time I saw you, we just but like... That was all just we a, did was that, just like yeah, smoke so and I don't then even just chill for a dude, second. I don't even consider it. 
Yeah, I know. I was thinking it's funny, and then Jesus we we do Christ. a podcast. But that's what's cool about podcasting is you literally just catch, catch up. up live. But we could be catch we could catch up and also be super productive about it. Or we could catch up and also be mustard. <laughs> Shut up! We'll catch up in rubber buns. Do you remember that joke? No. Fucking. Um, <sighs> It's a bad joke. Yeah, I don't even remember it. Dude, did I ever tell you? Oh, did I ever tell you when I got insecure, bro? I pinpointed it. What? So I was uh, actually. Was this when you texted me? No. When me and you had that long old me- that long old chat? Was this before or after? Oh, when I got insecure, homie. This is fucking when I was like okay. eight years old. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, tell your story. So I was just like not aware, and then I pinpointed it. So. There was this thing where I remember I I used to I used to curse a lot when I was a kid and it wouldn't make any sense. I'd be like, fucking pussy dick, motherfucker, cock suck, face, fuck. And like it wouldn't make no sense. And I would say that to people at school, dude, is because my dad was like your age, bro. Imagine having an eight year old at your age right now. I'd fucking kill myself. Yeah, I couldn't picture it. I'd probably in my head you're eight years old. I'd probably become an alcoholic and move to Alaska. In my head you're eight years old, so it's hard for me (laughs) to see picture you with an eight year old. Anyways. I mean I'd probably be an awesome fucking dad, but I would not be be, the same person though. I would be a different person. I'd respect it though out of you because you would be such a that kid would be fucking You know what's this is totally off topic, but my like one time me and my dad were just chilling somewhere and my dad just out of nowhere he's just like you're going to be a great dad one day. I was like, what the fuck? Where did this fucking come from? Damn, that's how you know you're getting old, homie. That's I was dad telling I was like old. 18. You know what I don't like about that. your your pitch correction is you have it on that pitch correction where if I zone out a little bit too long, you'll fucking it gets quiet. Me out. Yeah, yeah I don't I got I got to fix that shit, dude. Like I, where I, I haven't could go. I haven't gone deep into the oh, settings. Listen, listen, I could go like this. Uh, yeah, see, like you'll cut me out if I'm too quiet. Then you gotta talk a little bit louder. Welcome to my ASMR. So what we're gonna do today? You know what I was thinking would be a good ASMR? Beating skateboarding. Up. Oh, just listening to people skate. Yeah, I was like, I, could I probably told you that, right? Yeah, when I first fell in love with skateboarding, the first time I wanted to get a skateboard because I love the sound. You think that's, that's some autistic pro- shit? I was right there, just huh? about to say it's, it's and not necessarily. But because it's very sensory, anything sensory is very because uh, autism. Dude, I think everybody's a little bit on the spectrum nowadays. Oh, yeah, I mean, probably evolution. Exactly. And the ones that are fucked up, like you my know, sister, hey, are just bad evolution. You know what I was thinking? And this yeah. is you know a lot of people are going to be like, "Fuck you!" But what if you bartender Zima? Yeah, fuck you. You here? You can drink this. Yeah, give me that. Um, I was thinking, what if you know more people becoming um, homosexual? What if that's evolution to catching up us? for overpopulation? Oh, like, oh. oh. And then, you know, we, we catch up to our pop. We, yeah, we catch our population back aside up. For a second. Let's put emotions aside for a second. Okay. Uh, no, obviously, with this topic, because mm. we're, t- we're saying something. Oh, exactly. Crazy. Well, exactly. But no, no. Yeah, let's just say it. We're just saying in theory, mm. I love gay people. If I, if I was gay, I'd fuck gay people. <laughs> but I Obviously. <laughs> So that's my point. I mean, so, uh, some men have fucked gay women. I heard a big thing is turning. You know what's crazy? I just learned that Tim Dillon's uh, homosexual. Yeah, my favorite homo. Do you know that? Yeah, I that's fucking crazy love that, dude. because before I found out, I had a favorite homo, and that was Nick. Now I fucking like that guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> he has a, he has a picture on his Instagram of him without a shirt on, and it just says "Come Pig" on it. No, it doesn't. Yeah, that's great. I'll fucking find it for you, dude. Dude, I gotta see that. So, shit. Um, let's go back to what you were talking about. You're talking about something. You're talking about some crazy shit. No, you. Well, yeah, I brought up the whole evolution thing, but we, before that, Checking. it's like we checks were, and balances. What the fuck were we talking about? Before that, that's what we should call our high podcast. Our, <laughs> what, what the, the fuck, fuck are we talking about? about? No, you know what? Uh, you know it'd be a funny podcast. What if we had a podcast for every drug? Like, <laughs> acid? Coke are one. you talking about? <laughs> no, there would be a Coke one where it's like um, snorting slowly. No, no, you know, you know what uh, the Coke one would be called? It'd be like, ready? It'd what? be like this. This is what the Coke one. The Coke one would be called. Uh, you know what's fucking crazy? 
Dude, I couldn't tell you how many times you and I and Efren have said that amongst each other, bro, when talking and bullshitting when we're wasted. Hey, bro, you, oh, dude, you know what's fucking crazy? Dude, you know what's crazy? Bro, you know what's fucking crazy? Dude. I feel like you, that was like like a, one of yours for sure. Mine was like, you know what's funny? Yeah. I would always say, you know what's funny? Yeah, you know what's, you know what's <laughs> fucking crazy, dude? Is uh um, it's actually hilarious. Are you here with us right now? Yeah, I'm oh. just I'm looking for that picture of so, Tim Dillon. So, so you know what's nuts about uh Krista? It's is, nuck and futs. Hey, hey, she Oh, you're gonna start talking about her on the podcast. She <laughs> so she fucking uh she picks up on like little cues. Like you know how we pick up on small things? Yeah. Bro, she's so good on detail. Like, what the fuck did I say? Like, what did you just ask me right now? To what we talked about? What were we talking about before we got yeah. into any of this evolution conversation? No, the thing where I was like, you know what's crazy? Oh, about naming our podcast? Yeah, dude. I forgot. Um, I wanted to show you guys a video of me just stoned the fuck out of my dome. Oh, we're talking about picking up on each other's things where you're like, oh, yeah, because I used to be like, you know what's funny? Yeah. And I was like, you know what's crazy? So I was talking about picking up on your, uh, you oh, and Efren's pick- mannerisms. Okay. And I, I, I told uh, – because she was like, why do you do that? So that's why I was – okay, so now I'm backtracking. Now I know where I'm at because I, I brought up her because she was no, – she's like, why do you do this and that? I was like, that's crazy. You point that out. See, that's crazy. <laughs> you point that out because I was like, when I do this and that, I was like, that's, Nathan- that's the Nathaniel in me. When I do this and that – that's the Efren in me. I was like, I grew up with these guys at such a pivotal moment in my life where I was very like tribal and very like soaking shit in like a sponge. Yeah. That. And I, so I was hanging out with you guys in the prime of like my puberty of that. The primordial. Yeah. And so Evolution. when I go like this. So in this video, remember where I told you I turned into five people. I got so high. Yeah. Where I'm like. I was like, that's Nathaniel, that's Nathaniel, that's Efren, that's Efren, that's Nathaniel. So this version, dude, because I was like, anytime I like, like do dumb shit and dumb faces, it's Nathaniel. Anytime I try to do like very serious things and very <laughs> epic fucking things, dude, it's fucking Efren, bro. <laughs> so look at, watch, I'll point the fucking video at you and then they'll, they'll hear it, right? Yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. I turned into all you guys, bro. Right here, right here, right here. <laughs> Daniel, ready? Effort right here. Effort, effort right here. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Uh, bro, uh, yes, bro. Tell me that's not spot on, bro. So whenever you did like the scrunch face like this, the, that reminded me of effort. Yeah, when I was like, yeah, uh, no, it's like when you do this face a little. Right here. Yeah, that reminded me of effort. What about when I'm like, yes? Look at that. Also reminded me of effort. <laughs> and then you did your Andy laugh. <laughs> What's my Andy laugh? <laughs> is that like my Seth Rogen laugh? I don't know. You got your own stupid laugh. Really? Is Probably. It Look through all your fucking Snapchats. I got one question for you. you got an answer, Ready? Hopefully. I, ready? Can it sell, bro? Let's find out. I think you could. In the oh, right shit. context. Yeah. Yeah. What Jacob just sent me, bro. I love that small face uh, thing. I'm gonna dude. fucking screenshot that fucking thing. Yeah, that's good. Ca- bro, we gotta put that on a shirt. No, we gotta put that as his, the the cover of the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> bro, no. He'll just when, have all when, the information no. on his forehead. When me and Jacob do a podcast, bro, I, I'll do a small face. We'll be Beavis and Butthead, bro. And I'll Photoshop it on the, their bodies. I love that fucking. Ready? Small face. I'm gonna send it to you and you gotta screenshot mine. <laughs> Okay. You could also just save it. Oh, yeah. 
I'm going to do that then. Yeah. How do I do it? You dummy. You hold. Find it for me. Down, you hold it down on your. No, you find it for your fucking self, bitch. <laughs> I'm also going to pull up small face. It's It should be. It's the second one. Bro, what do you mean the second one? Babe? We're we're still live on the podcast. Uh, we're just getting fucking stoned to the bone with the man from Zimbabwe slash hash. Jamaica has a bobsled team. Fucking, he's straight from fucking Wuhan, and the dude who dispensed the bat dog. Have you seen the new South Park? The pandemic special. Yes, <laughs> he's all coming on the weed. <laughs> Spoiler alert. We're, we're still live on the podcast. Uh, hey, what's Jacob's uh, Snapchat? Uh, shut the fuck up, dog. No, seriously, so that I can fucking... Oh, Jakey Gonzo. Yeah, you fucking idiot. Bro, I don't see it anywhere, bro. What is it called? Small face. <laughs> uh, It's called... <laughs> oh, damn, it updated. What's it called? It's right before the vampire face. What the fuck is it Are you on Instagram? No. On Snapchat? It's right before the vampire face. Dog, no, because my (laughs) first few are my fucking... (laughs) Small face found it. Ready? I'm going to save it, homie. (sighs) Fuck. Oh, dude. I look like Tara Reid. (laughs) <laughs> Talk to him, Nathaniel. God damn it! Talk to who? I'm a chip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to talk while we're 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 just taking pictures of ourselves. I remember, dude. Um, Is that what, a good hey, one? So yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. <laughs> What's the longest uh, snap fire you've ever gotten with anyone? What do you mean? Like you know how oh. you how you do like you do. What is that? That's uh, that XLR cable's all fucked up. It's all good. Keep all right, talking. hold on. My wife's calling me, so I'm gonna go take this call. What the fuck, dude? Jacob looks like a fucking evil villain. Yo, order a pizza, goddamn it! Fucking hungry, dude. Daniel has no sense of uh, hospitality on his fucking thing, bro. He's a, in fact, he's a sack of shit. Um, yeah, man, I'm just looking at this fucking picture of Jacob, and he looks whack as fuck. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Did, has anyone ever thought Jacob was like a spectacle to the eye? You know, I've never, I've never met a motherfucker that that's how, that's how, that's how. You know, so, I don't know. Dude, his chin ain't ever getting in this fucking thing. God damn it. God damn it. I don't know why Efren does that. That's also the Efren in me right there when I go like that. I go, God damn it. Yo, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Dude, I'll do that shit. It probably fucking just. Wow. Dude, at fucking work the other day, they, they, uh, my fucking first name's Jose. My middle name's Andres. So, some people call me Andy. But on paper, my name is Jose. And, uh, so I'm at work and my manager comes up and he goes, What's up, dude? My name's Randy. Blah, blah. I'm the blah, blah. What's your, what's your name? I was like, oh, hey, man, my name's Andy, yeah, blah, 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 because, dude, that's what I go by, but on my fucking name tag, it says fucking Jose, so he probably thought I was insane <laughs> when I told him a complete fucking other name. Oh, Jacob's so creepy, I gotta stop staring at this shit. If you're fucking stirred at something so creepy where you're like, fuck that, Nathaniel, hurry the fuck up. God damn, dude. What's <laughs> uh. up, bro? Welcome fucking back. Welcome fucking back. <laughs> Welcome like a fucking flame. God damn, we gotta cut all that shit out. Why? It's boring, bro. I'm high as fuck. 
What, you have no backbone whenever no one else is here? Not when I'm fucking this blaze. Still blaze, son, still blaze, son, still blaze, son. I don't know who sings that song. <laughs> what else are we going to talk about? Oh, bro, this podcast is coming with Shijon. What did you fucking say? I'm fucking high, dog. <laughs> okay, so I think that concludes this episode of Sounds as Freaky yeah, Tales. That sounds like it. <laughs> right? If, uh, if I've ever heard it. What? The, 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 that no. was the ending? Yeah. No. No? No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. You're going to give them some... Okay. Uh, no, for, you tell them. You for, tell them this shit, bro. For can't. more information, go to 85631.com. That's 85six31.com. Um, you can find out more about, you know, the podcast, Sir Andrick himself. The music. The music, pop pop Power, and um, everything else that we're doing. Ciao. This is available everywhere. Ciao. Obviously, you're listening to it from somewhere. Ciao. Um, thanks for listening. Ciao. And, uh Ciao. That's it. Peace. Welcome to the Alice Podcast. Podcast. You just mumble and beg. No need to change if you text. Cause I'm going to school back. Ah, uh, cack second.